Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In the previous video, we completed all the APIs of Bill. So if you are not seen that video, just go to the description and check out the link. In this video, we are going to write the API for dashboard. So let us start with that. So first we need to create a new file. So let me move to the routes folder and right click on this and new file. So here we have to write dashboard.js and after that first we need to import express so express equals require and here we have to import express after that the next we have to import connection so connection equals and require connection this one and after connection we need to import router and it should be from express dot router this one and at last we need to import auth so auth dot require and here we have to import that authentication from the service actually and authentication we need to import this one after that we have to write the api so router dot get and here the api name will be details and after that auth dot authenticate token and after that request response dot next and here we have to this okay okay it's giving some kind of error okay it should be not like this here we need to delete this too now you can see error has been removed now now here we have to create few variables so category count after that where product count and after that where bill count this four variables we need to uh, sorry three variables actually we need to create and after that we have to execute a query so where query is equals to select star select actually we have to count so count and id as category count actually category count this one from category this table we are going to count the, uh, by id okay so uh, we will count all the ids actually so let's say if i have been 10 ids so it will give us return 10 so on the basis of that we are able to count return that category count actually so connection dot query and in this we just need to pass that query after that error or results and then we have to check if there is a no error and else if there is any error then we are going to return with response dot status 500 with whatever the JSON whatever the error actually we need to return okay and in if condition we are going to write a category count is equals to results we are going to call this and at index 0 we are going to get that value so category count we are going to get it so at index value 0 we are going to expecting this value actually okay after that we have to write a new query here so where and here we have to write query is equals to and here we have to write select count and here we have to write id as product count from product table actually so product and after that we have to create the connection dot query let me move a little bit up this one and here we have to pass that query and error and results we are expecting and here actually we have to write if there is no error in that case we are going to execute if condition else we are going to return with response dot status 500 with whatever the error is there we are going to return in the json format and if condition we are going to write product 
count is equals to results this one at index 0 dot product count we are going to write this after that the last we have to count for bills so let me write that one so query first we have to write query so query is equals to in double quotes select star sorry select count id as bill count this one from bill we have to write this and after that we have to create the connection let me move a little bit up this one so connection dot query and in this query er error results results this one and after that we need to write if there is no error and else if any error occur return response dot the status and here we have to write 500 dot json and whatever the error is there we are going to return that and in if condition we are going to get bill count actually so result at uh, zero we are going to count it and bill count is there okay so first we are going to execute this query we will get the category count after that product count and bill count now we need to return the complete result so we are going to write over here so where data equals and in this we are going to write here category and here we are going to write category count and after that product and product count and after that bill bill count actually this one now now we have to return that data so return response start the status with 200 dot json and whatever the data we have we are going to return okay so after that we also need to export this one so outside of this we are going to write module dot exports equals to router this one and let's save this you can see the api get details uh, sorry details api is ready of dashboard so let me connect this one is to with index actually so move here and here you have to write const dash board equals require and here we need to import so routes sorry routes this one and here we are going to import the dashboard and here I have to write app dot use and inside this here we have to write dash board and after that we have to pass dashboard this one okay it should be dashboard route we have to follow the name which we are writing so let me write here dashboard and you can see it one is this one is api is connected with our project so let me open the terminal and let me test it out that it's working fine or having any errors so npm start so it will start our server we have to wait for a few seconds okay it's taking a little bit time today yeah you can see connected database has been connected successfully so let me open this one and let me hit the api to get the token first so let me copy this token and let me move over here in the body we don't need to share the body authorization we are going to paste that token and after that here we just need to write dash board and here we have to write details and we are going to hit this api so you can see we are getting whatever the uh, data we have so category is to product to bill four let me show you also over here six use cafe node js select star from product you can see only two two row is over here and select 
star from bill you can see we have four raw here so that's the region it's returning four select star from category you can see only two so it means that it's uh, returning the correct data whatever we, what we are expecting so our dashboard api is also ready so this is all apis related to cafe management system we completed it so in upcoming videos i'm going to like create the front end part and we are going to connect all the back end apis with front end and we are going to use it so i hope you guys like this video so please hit like and subscribe my channel thank you